for your process too, because a lot of the times it's the end work that the public sees, and we don't really see kind of the process that you go through in creating it. And what's a key aspect of your process that is not really evident in the work in your photograph at the end? <laughs> I think for myself, um, it's very hard to describe. Uh, how intuitive some of it has to be. Um, I know that it this aspect becomes difficult, for example, when you might have a paying client who wants something right at a, right on a certain deadline, and then you might not be in the right headspace to create it necessarily, but then you have to make it happen. And that, that's part of it, the professional professionalism that is expected but for work to come out very seamlessly sometimes uh, I think mental headspace is extremely important and um, for me I don't think that's necessarily dictated by my surroundings like I can work anywhere I think but uh, I think it has to do a lot with whether I can see the final product in my head right when I see a raw image. And if I have to work to get to that final image in my head by letting it sit, then that means that I might not have fulfilled my own duties as the photographer well enough during the shoot itself. So I would say that um, during the shoot, it's actually very crucial that I can give myself that really good roadmap for me to then kind of let my imagination play by giving myself enough variety to choose from. So I think uh, that sort of pressure on the shoot itself is something that I, I've never really enjoyed, but I realize that it's a must. And I people who've worked with me know that I like to take my insurance shots all the time, just in case, to ensure that I have something. Because I think... Uh, Oftentimes, the other part that's never really shown to other people is that I will sit on just a raw image and literally just look at it. I will stare. <laughs> and sometimes people wonder what I'm doing, but I'm staring because I'm trying to imagine it in different situations. And there's a lot of that going on. And then you just have to sort of trust the process afterwards and see what comes of it. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in. We would love to hear your thoughts or questions. Please let us know in the comments and review section, and we'll try to cover it in the next sessions. If you enjoy this content, please share and subscribe for more episodes. For latest updates, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Art Focus Exchanges.